from NicePeopleStamp.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and there's lots going on with Stampin' Up! right now so I thought I'd just pop on and do a quick video for you, a little bit of an update about some of the new stamp pads and colors from Stampin' Up! So I'm just getting you set up on my computer here so I can see if we have anyone join live and watch for comments. So just give me a sec here to get set up and then we are going to get right into it. This will be a really short video, just kind of a, a little info session to get you all up to speed. And let's see. There I am. Okay, so if you are here, make sure you say hello. Hi, Sarah and Elizabeth and Kayla. So glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. So I have been lucky enough to attend Stampin' Up's on stage event this past weekend. So that's an event just for demonstrators. And we got to see so many new things. Oh, yeah, you guys are going to love the new catalog. By the way, demonstrators can see the catalog online right now, and we can pre-order a special selection of bundles for a promotion that is coming up for uh, customers in May. So if you've been thinking of joining, now is definitely the time. Okay, so hi Sandy! Okay, so one of the things that was announced at OnStage is that Stampin' Up! will have a brand new ink pad design. And I am so excited about this. Not that I didn't love our old ink pads, but do you ever um, see a redesign of something and then go, oh, that is so smart. I wish they were like that all along. And that's kind of what it's like with these new ink pads. So let's look at the old style of Stampin' Up! ink pad. Nothing wrong with that. It kind of, you have to push it like this to open and then push it back, okay? but the new style you're gonna love. Okay, so look at this. A sleek design and watch when I open it. I just pull up the top and slide it into place. So no more of that um, sort of pushing and then the other side and then pulling. So that has been something that I, at least I know for new stampers, that that has been something that has been a little bit awkward. So I'm glad that we're getting this new design where you literally just pull up, uh, mine are brand new so they're a little bit tight, but you pull up straight up and then you just slide it into place. So it's a really great new design. I'm very excited about it. And there's some great space saving possibilities because I want to show you this. So I have two of the very same ink pads and I'm going to stack them up. Number one, the regular ink pads don't stack very well. They're very shifty. They don't like to stack and they don't stay stacked. But look at just with two ink pads, the difference in height. So imagine when you have a whole big stack of them, how much space you're going to save. So that's pretty exciting. I love that feature. And these new ones, they do stack. They kind of nest a little. So they, um, you can create a stack of them where if you have really even more than two, these are quite shifty. There's nothing for them to stay stacked, okay? So that is very cool. Hi Colleen and Auntie Teresa and Kathy and Lisa. Oh, you guys are so great for joining me. Uh, yeah, so Sarah, total game changer. Love the shape. I love that they're flat and the opening is just so easy and quick. And it'll be great for new stampers too because they won't have that awkward, how do I open this ink pad? And so I love these. So if you have been looking at the Stampin' Up! retiring items in my online store, you're probably thinking, why are all the Stampin' Up! colors retiring? And they're not. So all of the Stampin' Up! ink pads will be converting into this new style. So the colors aren't retiring, just the ink pad style will be changing. So you'll notice there's a little sort of mark to note that the um, they're being reconfigured. 
Some colors are retiring and I went over those in my video yesterday, but I'm going to share those colors again today. Uh, yes, yeah, so Angie Tree said they do still fit in the color caddy, the little spinny rack. Um, we were told that Stampin' Up! is working on a new ink storage system because they do fit, but they're a little bit wobbly, you know, so I wouldn't really turn it around. They're going to go flying, uh, but they do fit. So Stampin' Up! is working on a new storage system. That's what we were told it on stage. So I'm super excited for that because you guys know me. I love a good storage system. So... Let's talk about the colors that are retiring because we do have a lot of colors retiring. Stampin' Up! is doing a color revamp. So keep in mind, hi Susan. So keep in mind, just because the ink pads are all listed on the retiring section, only the colors I'm going to mention next are the ones that are actually leaving. The other ones are just being redesigned into this new ink pad style, okay? So, are we gonna go through the colors again? I kind of did a funny video yesterday about, you know, saying goodbye to some. All right, and we're gonna go through this quick. So these are the colors that are retiring and as soon as the items are sold out, they're gone forever. So that means ink pads, re-inkers, cardstock, any embellishments, any designer paper. So these are the ones that are truly leaving forever. Always artichoke. Chocolate chip, elegant eggplant, island indigo, perfect plum, pink pirouette, rose red, soft sky, tangerine tango, Tempting turquoise, wild wasabi. This is all I have left. Ah! <laughs> Marina mist, wisteria wonder, dapper denim, emerald envy. Mm, love that one. Peekaboo peach and sweet sugar plum. So I know that was really fast because I did a longer video yesterday on all of those items that are leaving us. Oh, hi Lisa. Oh, you guys are very, that is really awesome. Hi Kirsten and Tori and Shannon. Okay, so yes, all of these new or all of these retiring colors Lisa, I love your little message there. That makes me really happy. So I'm so glad that that happened through just the magic of Facebook Live. Okay, so all of those colors that I just mentioned, those are the ones that are going, going, gone, okay? So I have a few predictions of which ones I think will sell out first. I think Dapper Denim and Emerald Envy are going to go very fast, as well as some of those purples, because there's a lot of purple people out there, and when you love purple, you like love purple, <laughs> okay? So I think those, some of those purples are gonna go fast too. Okay, so another couple of questions that I've been getting is, what about if I wanna sign up to be a demonstrator right now, can I order the new stuff? Okay, so when you sign up to be a demonstrator on my team, so my team is called the Ink and Elite, we're in Canada and we have so much fun together. Of course, I'd love for you to join us, but one of the questions that I get asked all the time, and especially right now when we have so much new stuff happening, is can I get the new stuff as part of my starter kit? And there is a promotion that is open to demonstrators only right now. So it's a demonstrator pre-order and it's called Share What You Love. And it has stuff from the new catalog. And so yes, you can order those items as part of your starter kit. And then you'll be all set to go as a demonstrator in May when the new catalog comes out. So you'll be getting a discount and you'll get to pre-order with all demonstrators in May. And then of course, customers can order from the new catalog in June. So yes, if you want to join my team, I'd love to have you. And yes, you can get some new stuff. So those are some questions I've had. I've also had questions about Fast Fuse, the adhesive. And you guys, if you watch my videos, you know it's my favorite. 
And yes, it's retiring. So from what I've heard, the manufacturer has actually discontinued it. So fast fuse, the refills are while supplies last, and the holder itself is actually already sold out. So if you are a lover of fast fuse like I am, make sure you order those refills ASAP. I think it's gonna sell out because I love it and I'm gonna buy a lot of it. Um, I put some on my order today, but I'm gonna order some more because now I'm feeling like, was that really enough? but don't blame me when it sold out. I warned you. <laughs> okay, so, all right. If you guys have any questions about all of this stuff, I would love to answer them for me for you. So I'm gonna stick around for a couple more minutes and share with you a little bit more information. But if you have any questions, I'd love for you to ask them now. So I've also been asked what colors are coming back to Stampin' Up! So if you've been through a Stampin' Up! color revamp or renovation before, Stampin' Up! sometimes brings back old colors that they've had as in colors and some are returning. So what is returning? Mossy Meadow, Poppy Parade, Flirty Flamingo, shortest retirement ever. I mean, it's just retiring this year with the in colors and boom, it's back and I'm so glad because I love it. Coastal Cabana, that has been one of my favorite colors of all time, so I'm so thrilled it's coming back. Mint Macaron, love that color, and Blackberry Bliss. So those are some colors that are coming back. And then we have new colors, brand new, never before, brand new Stampin' Up! colors, and there are 10 of them. So I'm so excited, and it is the perfect time to become a demonstrator because you can get a discount on all of that new stuff when it's released. So that's what I really love about being a demonstrator is that I can get all of my products at a discount. I mean, I love so many things, but I really love that I can get my products at a discount as a demonstrator. Okay, you guys, I don't see any questions. So if you have questions about the color revamp or the new ink pad design or the retiring colors, I'm happy to answer those for you. If you weren't able to join me live, then just put a uh, question in the comments. I'll be checking back and answering any questions that come up. So thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope that helped alleviate some of the stress that a couple of people have expressed thinking that all of the colors are retiring. They're not just this style of the ink pad is changing with about, I think it's 13 um, Stampin' Up! colors retiring. So just those ones I went over. So Shannon has asked, what is the discount? So when you are a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! you start out as a bronze. So when you're a bronze demonstrator, you get a minimum of 20% off. And then if you sell a certain amount per month, you actually get some more um, as a volume rebate. So that would be 20% either income or um, discount. And then you can get more with a volume rebate, which is when you um, sell up to a certain amount. And it's really not very high. So you can actually get more that way. And then once you promote to Bronze Elite, you get a 25% discount slash income, uh, which is really awesome because getting to Bronze Elite isn't really that difficult. So if you're just loving stamping up and making a bunch of purchases, um, you know, a lot of people just end up at Bronze Elite sort of by accident, which is great because then their um, discount or income bumps up to 25%. Uh, another question that I get asked about signing up all the time is how much do I have to sell? And um, it works out to about $400 every three months however, or every quarter, however, that's before your discount is applied. So it's actually way less when you talk about dollars, okay? All right, I'm gonna head out if I don't see any more questions. And if you have questions, again, just leave them in the comments and make sure to stop by my blog, which is nicepeoplestamp.com. And I have the retiring list posted so you can look through all of that. And of course, if you wanna be a demonstrator, perfect time to join my team. Thanks everyone, bye.